Hey guys, this is Yamina Hall, and I'm just shooting a quick video in regards to how to use Hyper Tracker. And what this is, guys, this is a <clears throat> rotator where you can actually have different, uh, you can track different links, different campaigns. And I'm already logged in. Now, this is a uh, paid site, so I'm already logged into my account. So when you do get logged in, what you're going to do, you're going to want to click on campaigns. And I believe I already have one started, but I'll just for the purpose of the video, I'll do create new campaign. And then it will have your ID name. Now for your campaign ID name, you just want to name it something quick and short that give you an example right here. And then also for your campaign name, you can just put what the campaign is about if you are looking for them to opt in from a broadcast or from an email or from a banner. And then in the description here, you would just want to put something like maybe they're opting into a mailing list or it's an advertisement for list builder or something like that. You kind of want to name the campaign name and the um, actually the campaign name then you put the description and then the group name is whatever you want to name it like it can be targeted to your niche um, network marketers and business network marketers looking to gen generate leads single moms something like that but um try to name campaign name and group name if you can have it kind of similar it doesn't really have to be the same name it just depends you want to kind of keep everything grouped um, so you can remember you want to make sure you put something that you can remember and then for the campaign password you don't need that um, as far as price goes it just depends you can put in what you paid for your campaign um, if it's going to be PPC or not you can click there as well now, as far as the counts count clicks you want to make sure it's once per session um, any of these other ones will not give you an accurate um, an accurate reading so you want to make sure you put once per session now for the uh, entering the URL Basically, you want to make sure you have the HTTP in front of it. So, for instance, maybe I want to track something on my personal blog. So, you can just put the HTTP www whatever dot. Uh, I'll put my personal website. Okay and then you want to go ahead you can use this keep URL in browser or not that's just depending if you want them to see the browser once they do click on the link um, it's up to you to use it or not um, it's, that's basically a totally uh, decision for yourself some people use it some people don't but it's totally up to you now um, once that is all said and done you have you are ready for your campaign so then what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and click create a new campaign so I believe I may be doing a second part video for this but um, feel free to like or share this video as well um, so this is really simple guys it's hypertracker.com it's a paid site like I said um, you can use this to track any campaigns banner ads email um, email ads or anything that you're looking to track and just keep track of your clicks and your promotion so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was very helpful and um, I will see you guys um, in the next video